we have new details in regards to the proof of authority, which is the consensus mechanism that SafeMoon is looking to use in the development of their SafeMoon blockchain. This is an article from the education side of SafeMoon's website. I'll have a link to this article down in the description below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. What is proof of authority? In a recent update, CEO John Caroni discussed the consensus mechanics that will be used in the operation of the SafeMoon blockchain. He shared this information in a captain's log. Check it out below. I already reviewed this video in a previous video. You guys can check that out if you'd like to. This goes on with more detailed information. What is proof of authority? A proof of authority or POA blockchain is a type of distributed ledger technology that uses a consensus mechanism based on the reputation or identity of the validators rather than on the computation power used in proof of work or POW systems or the stake of validators in proof of stake POS systems. In a POA blockchain, a group of pre-selected and trusted individuals known as authorities are responsible for validating transactions and creating new blocks. These authorities are usually chosen based on their reputation, expertise, or stake in the network, and they are required to identify themselves using a digital certificate or other forms of verification. One of the main advantages of POA systems is their high transaction speed and lower energy consumption compared to POW systems, as the validation process does not require significant computational resources. This makes POA suitable for scenarios where fast transaction processing and low energy consumption are important, such as in supply chain management or governance applications. Some real world examples of POA working including one, supply chain management. POA can be used to track the movement of goods and materials through the supply chain, providing a tamper-proof record of the origin, quality, and location of the products. Two, identity verification. POA can be used to verify and authenticate identities, such as in the case of government-issued identity documents or digital certificates. Three, governance. POA can be used to facilitate decision-making and voting processes in decentralized organizations, Enabling transparent and secure governance. Energy trading. POA can be used to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer energy trading and enable the integration of renewable energy sources into the grid. Five, insurance. POA can be used to automate and streamline the claims process in the insurance industry, enabling faster and more accurate payouts. Another advantage of POA systems is the ability to provide a high level of security and trust, as the authorities are known and accountable entities. This makes POA particularly suitable for private and consortium blockchains, where the network participants are trusted entities that have a shared interest in the network's operation. To mitigate some risks of POA systems, POA uses a dynamic authority model where the set of authorities can change over time based on certain rules or criteria. For example, the authorities may be rotated regularly to prevent any single entity from gaining too much power, or new authorities may be added to the network based on the reputation or stake of the applicants. Transactions per second with POA. Transaction speed, also known as transactions per second or TPS, is an important consideration for any blockchain system as it determines how quickly the network can process and confirm transactions. In proof of authority POA systems, the transaction speed is generally faster than in proof of work POW systems as the validation process does not require significant computational resources. This is because in POW systems, miners must compete to solve a complex mathematical puzzle in order to validate transactions and create new blocks, which can be time-consuming and require a lot of, compu uh, of computing power. In contrast, in POA systems, the authorities are responsible for validating transactions and creating new blocks, and they do not need to perform any complex computations. However, the transaction speed of a POA system will depend on several factors, including the number and capabilities of the authorities, the size of the blocks, and the complexity of the transactions. Some POA systems may be able to process hundreds or thousands of transactions per second, while others may be limited to a lower number of transactions per second. 
It is worth noting that transaction speed is not the only factor to consider when evaluating a blockchain system. Other factors such as security, decentralization, and scalability may also be important, depending on the specific use case and requirement of the network. Conclusion. Overall, proof of authority is a promising consensus mechanism that offers a balance between security, trust, and performance. It is particularly suitable for private and consortium blockchains where the network participants are known and trusted entities. It is important, however, to carefully design and implement the authority model and the penalty mechanisms to ensure a fair and secure operation of the network. There you go. That is the latest update breakdown of the proof of authority and what they're kind of reviewing here. So I just kind of want to touch on this a little bit more. The transaction speed is definitely a high level priority, but that doesn't mean that that's going to be their decision making in the very end on whether they fully pursue this because some of the other factors that come into play was also, for example, that of security. So having the safe moon orbital shield that is a big central focus on security and making sure that that can be integrated in to some degree or just making sure that the blockchain itself is as secure as possible to me that makes a lot of sense if that's put also towards the top of the list or even a little bit above the transaction speed because again what is their branding they're called safe moon right you want your stuff to be safe the safe moon orbital shield is a security thing that's being released, has been released. And with that, you think that, oh, I'm now more safe, right? So if you wanna get involved in things and you wanna feel safe, that's kind of the message that's really being conveyed from first impressions when you think of SafeMoon, when you look at SafeMoon, right? They have to prove themselves, they have to deliver these things. Let's see what happens next. But here is a little bit more information on the proof of authority system straight from the education side of SafeMoon, which again, I'll have a link to that article down in the description below. If you wanna go check out other things that they have on their education pages, feel free to check out up at the top. They have a lot more information there. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your support. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.